What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on this April 1st, 2021, 8.32 a.m. I guess it's Fool's Day today. Uh, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a uh, heightened earthquake activity out here in the southwestern part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. Of course, uh, 6.5 earthquake striking out there around the uh, Kermadec Islands area and also a uh, little bit uh, deeper earthquake there towards the north, towards Fiji, uh, with a 6.0 striking out there all uh, within the, the last hour or so. Um, taking a look at the, I want to go over here to the USGS map here and we'll take a look at a little bit more detailed uh, information on these earthquakes here. Let's see, zooming in here to the region of New Zealand, Kermadec Trench, Kermadec Islands area. There's that 6.5 earthquake. I don't believe there's going to be any tsunami statement with that, but we'll go ahead and uh, check that real quick. Uh, see if I can find out where that uh, went to. Go ahead and do it this way real quick then. Uh, nothing at all, which is good, but uh, we're definitely seeing a return of earthquake activity to this region that has been relatively quiet for the past couple days uh, when it comes to larger magnitudes. Of course, uh, last week we had seen uh, quite a bit of deep movement within this little area where we've seen that 6.0, and that's that rings true today for this 6.0 that struck there. Uh, that earthquake south of Fiji, five, look, holy moly, 597 kilometers below surface. That's an extremely deep earthquake and some uh, a pretty good size magnitude quake for that uh, that level below the surface there. Pretty significant. The uh, time difference there. Um, let's see what we got here. Time difference, of course, there was a few hours. 6.5 strike in the um, more than within the past hour. That was about, uh, oh, overnight, early overnight last night, that 6.5 was. Uh, but still, um, a little bit of relation here to these quakes. Uh, definitely quite a bit of uh, pressure increase in movement in this region. The 6.0 strike in there within, uh, within a short time ago, 1511 UTC time. Uh, so that's Oh, I don't know what, 15 minutes ago? 16 minutes? <clears throat> Still losing my voice, folks. Um, yeah, so definitely be on guard today, folks. We're looking at uh, the return of movement over here in this region, like I mentioned, and also up here to the northwest, uh, this part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. We haven't really seen any major release in pressure up here. Um, and it's been relatively quiet uh, far as large magnitudes go in this region. So uh, uh, with all this further movement down south along the Kermadec Trench, the Fiji Islands area now with their deep, deep earthquake, um, I expect uh, some further movement up here around these uh, very quiet zones up here in the Pacific or in the uh, northwest part of the plate. And um, well, I had to make sure everything was running. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Um, and also up here through the Solomon's Island, it's been relatively quiet. Uh, most likely this is going to be our prime spot uh, for some larger magnitude with this, uh, just the way things are looking here on the map and with the uh, deep movement that we've seen this morning there or just a short time ago there in Fiji. So be on alert, be on guard for that area. Um, can't rule out some possible further movement down south here as well. New Zealand area. Um, has been seeing some uh, earthquake activity down here to the south and also very close to the uh, uh, the North North Island here just offshore uh, just kind of be on guard there for that area uh, the 6.5 what do we got there the depth of that earthquake about 20 kilometers below surface uh, not super deep but uh, man that one up there up towards Fiji that just struck really deep uh, looking over here to the west coast real quick, folks. We'll just cover that as a recap. Some increase in activity off the coast of Northern California right there in the triple Mendocino triple point junction. But more inland towards the, uh, well, what do we got up there, folks? You guys remember what's up here? The Cascadia Megathrust area. Uh, 2.9 earthquake striking in that region at 25 kilometers below surface. Inland, folks. This is inland into the uh, Megathrust area. Uh, kind of watching that pretty closely. Also, we have seen some increased height and earthquake activity inland uh, into Northern California in the mountainous area. Uh, kind of at the north end of Sacramento Valley, a 3.0 struck there near Shingletown. 
yesterday uh, there was some further movement around this region, but uh, 3.0, kind of the the higher magnitude there. We'll go ahead and go back here with the all magnitudes. So you can see some of the uh, uh, microquakes in the region. A little microquake here, uh, a 2.2 .2 near Ferndale. Looks like that struck uh, well, late last night. That's kind of a deep earthquake for this region here, to, uh, 24 kilometers below surface. Uh, something brewing up here, folks, along the Cascadia. We're definitely seeing some heightened movement, heightened uh, activity there in that region. And just going to go real quick and cover um, the potential tremor or the reason for all this. We've seen this last night um, during the update video, but we'll cover this real quick. They haven't updated for today's. It does take them a couple hours, right around 6 o'clock today, for this to be updated. So this is yesterday's activity. <clears throat> you can see the uh, increase in tremor here, ultimately adding back uh, back pressure here along the Cascadia subduction zone, the locked area, uh, and also creating uh, with that slippage there, some surface quaking right around the Shingletown area, uh, northern part of the Sacramento Valley. Um, it's pretty significant swarming over the past couple days. You can see uh, that was yesterday's. Uh, the day before there, we had a, a pretty significant movement along the Cascadia trimmer area. Like I said, this is slippage area down dip <coughs> downstream of the uh, locked section of the Cascadia subduction zone. So I'm curious to see what it's going to look like today. Uh, quite a bit of trimmer in this region. Definitely good to be on guard uh, as this is in my area. Uh, always take my own advice and make sure I'm stocked up on... Uh, plenty of items and whatnot uh, when it comes to potentially seeing a mega quake here in my area along the Cascadia subduction zone. This ain't no joke. Uh, a little bit of further movement down here where that uh, earthquake struck, the 4.8 earthquake struck there uh, yesterday, I believe now, uh, early yesterday. Some aftershock activity there, 2.6 in the uh, south of the border area, south of Mexicali. A little bit of further movement too um, into the Ridgecrest in Nevada, folks. So just be on guard. Could be a very interesting uh, active day once again uh, in the earthquake department. But for now, a very deep 6.0 earthquake striking uh, south of Fiji at uh, 597 kilometers, and then a 6.5 that struck uh, well a few hours ago there in the uh, six, in the uh, Kermadec Islands region of New Zealand. Of course, I was sleeping when that occurred, but uh, we'll be here monitoring the activity throughout the day on the Earthquake Live 3D stream. And I uh, hope everyone has a good day out there. We'll chat you guys in a little bit. Peace out.